we have a lot of homes, unfortunately, that are destroyed up in that area. We knew it was bad, but until now, we didn't know the scope. A law enforcement source tells Nine News officials have an estimate between 300 and 400 homes in Grand County have burned. Again, only an estimate as crews are still trying to assess the damage. Bad news in a day that has been full of good. Sunday, the sheriff lifted pre-evacuation orders for the towns of Granby and Hot Sulphur Springs and said as early as Monday, he might be able to start lifting some of the mandatory evacuation orders closer to the fire zone. Grand Lake Fire shared these pictures with us. That's the Grand Lake Lodge, which many feared had burned. It's fine. And many others are also getting good news. And this is the silver lining, right? Everything is lost, but this is the silver lining. We're still together. We're still human beings. We're neighbors. We're friends. We're family. And we love each other. Dan Stones said he heard from a contractor Sunday who shut off the water at his cabin near Lake Granby. His house didn't burn in an area where others did. And that contractor had one more surprise. We just burst into tears when he read that note. A note from Meeker Fire Engine 1446. If this note finds you, we must have done something right. Sorry for the loss of your shed, and we had to cut a little of your wood fence to save your house. Things got really hot. We stayed as long as possible. Not only did they save our house, I apologize for not saving the tool shed. <laughs> like, like that matters. An act of bravery. Dan doesn't know how to repay. It is heroic. Like this beats any Marvel movie, Avengers movie you could ever watch. These people are literally saving our world. Um, and I can't, there's, there's nothing I could do to repay that. If the whole world came together and said, thank you, it wouldn't be enough. So, so, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Firefighters shouldn't have to buy a beer in this state ever again. The sheriff told me earlier this week that this is kind of how this fire worked. Very spotty. One house might be spared and the rest on the block were not. The sheriff said today that his office is going to work with individual property owners who have lost their homes. They want to be the ones who give the notification uh, to any homeowners who may have lost property in this. And as you can imagine, that is just going to be a big undertaking. Thanks. Yeah, big and important. You think of that sort of uh, real estate triage that is going to have to take place over these next few days, weeks, and months over everything that happened there. But uh, the story of heroism from the Meeker Fire Department is certainly one to remember as well. Steve, thanks as always. Absolutely.